POV. Great. Okay. Everybody can see this video. It has the video quality and shit. It's good enough. Good enough? It's functional. Okay, so we're going to go over our Gibraltar defense and then the entirety of Hanamura. All right. Because the front half of this was Ilios, and we don't want to talk about Ilios. <laughs> was this the screen where we fucked it up? We fucked it up both times. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But we fucked it up worse the first time. All right. Okay. We all set? We all good? Mm-hmm. Yes. Let's get right to it. So, so, uh, I'm just gonna pretty much stop when something bad happens. Understandable. Anchor fucking spasms. Yeah, anchor spasms. So we got a big pick here. Lucia comes to do up. Anchor's making the callouts to drop, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody else is communicating right now, and right here, this is the first problem. So Anchor says drop, and what is behind Anchor right now? Heart. <laughs> Heart. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure everyone else is up top chasing a Hanzo. Uh, the only person that doesn't have to drop in this situation is Archon Widow. Mm -hmm. Everyone else needs to follow this shot call. Because Anchor turned around and just saw nothing. No support behind him. And as he saw, everyone just dropped from the sky up right here afterwards, after he's been hit with a rock and we had to use Immortality. <laughs> Anchor mentions it because he's panicking. We DM. So this is all fine. So like they, they bait us a little bit here. They go there. They come main again. The next big thing that happens here. Waiting for it. Is this McCree right here? Starts to take an angle on us, right? He actually gets Shiro. Uh, sure, maybe. who I was pocketing. You can <laughs> somehow. see me up there. Yeah, somehow. Because Shira's in kind of an aggressive position here. Mm -hmm. Like, above them. And McCree just punishes him for it. So what happens next is what actually costs us the point here. So we like, all the way around yeah, behind. We're, we're calling out where he is, but nobody's really doing anything about it. So, I go to take the duel on the McCree. As mm -hmm. you can see, me getting flashbang there, right? Yeah. What I don't realize is that his Lucio is with him. Or, like, Lucio goes in. There are Moira's with him. That's it. Moira's in there with him. Lucio goes in there. So, because this is suddenly a 1v3, I, I die for it. Uh, I don't think anyone knew Moira was in there, and Lucio just got in there real quick. But 1v1, I can take this McCree. But we should have all just either shifted or sent our two snipers to deal with them or something other than me going in there like this. Or, you know, somebody should have come mm -hmm. with me. But we didn't really communicate it very well. Anchor drops Bongo here in an attempt to win the fight. We lose Arc. Then McCree gets all the way around. Yeah, McCree wraps all the way around. Do you try and res here for, like... To feed? I don't know. Yes. Uh, I think it's because at that point, uh, Anchor, or somebody called Winnable, and I said, okay. Or I'm not sure if that was a call, or if the call was just... Uh, it was not Winnable. Ah. Not Winnable in the slightest. Yeah, I figured. That's why, like, halfway into the res animation, I said, oh, yeah. wait. And then I got killed. So we haven't made any swaps yet. We probably don't have to, like, comp-wise. Mm-hmm. We win this fight pretty handily, just cause just off square. We just push, we clean up. Arc dies doing Orisa somehow. Which really shouldn't happen. 
I don't know where he's positioning here. He was top right. I know because yeah. I had to fly up to res him. Yeah, top right or spaceship. Top right of spaceship. Yeah. Bomb goes out. People get pulled. And we win this fight with just one ult invested again. So these last two fights are clean. They are clean cut fights from us. The Sigma gets out, which is painful. He really shouldn't have if you saw how low he was. Yeah. So the only thing we have here is yeah. pull all, dragon and then all maybe we have Valkyrie. Pull, dragon, maybe Valk. They haven't used much in the last two fights, so they probably have everything. Most likely. Not that they did a lot, but yeah. Our snipers are set up cross-fired. Shiro's here. Arc's up here. Is this another clean fight for us, or do we lose this? This is another clean one. Okay. Honestly, your Gibraltar defense is fine. There's just some key things I wanted to point out. It's Hanamura that's really bad. Yeah. To be fair, our attack was good too, but our defense should have been better. Our attack was not good on Hanamura. It was not? Oh, I'm thinking of the other scrim. I'm thinking of the other scrim where they got like three minutes, but then we got four. This is not that. So they use Sigma ult. Yeah, we supercharger. I think you Valk. I Valked here. They to, pop to full sustain. essence. So how I use Valk is I basically use it to sustain through Sigma ult to keep you guys above half. Which is fine. So yeah, they beat. Doom comes in. We're in full retreat mode right now. Mm -hmm. And we're retreating properly. We're doing it well. This yeah, Doom keeps coming him. in. He should be punished right here. He does die. Okay. So... That right there, An I, I call out that I have bomb because it's the only thing we have left. Mm -hmm. Anchor says, we don't need it. Immediately in the kill feed, we lose arc, right? Mm -hmm. They're down doom, we're down arc, we're even right now. Supercharger goes down. Genji manages to take out heart. And then Shiro. <laughs> and you've already bombed. I've already thrown the bomb. We get the res on arc. But this Genji killed literally all of us. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's a matter of I rezzed and you bombed because within those seconds that we were doing it, yeah. it was still winnable. But by the time does we he, finished, it was he not. Does he here? I don't even see where no, he is. No, it was just dashes. He just dash resets. Mm hmm Yeah. So, and we're not sitting on anything right now. We have nothing. Bomb was the only thing that we had. And if we had used it earlier, even, like, to disrupt... Like, we might have got a win here. So the, the question this, there is, how could we have won that fight? Well, this Genji takes a 2v1 against Ark and Heart and kills them both. And then everyone else is low, so he just dashes through our team and kills everybody. Mm -hmm. Bombing a little bit earlier might have been better, but also yeah. we let them, like, we, we let we them take real this. aggressive positioning for free. Well, yeah, but you see what they had to pop to take that position, yeah. right? Like they, call, free. like they Sigma they, flux, they call then they call, then they beat, and then they pop they supercharger super. mm -hmm. right before I bomb. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's it's a fine like economy fight because we get out three alts in exchange just for my bomb, and I end up switching the Sigma after this anyway. But it's just I don't know if you remember what happened here, Hart, like how the, the Genji got you cool. both. Because you, you can see where we killed Doom. Because Doom comes in here. He punches in. I actually think he hit you there. Yeah, that, that was Heart they hit, I just saw. So Heart's here, Shiro's here. You pop your uh, AoE heal to try and heal yourself, I assume. But then so Doom punches punched... another person, I'm assuming Arc or Heart. It wasn't me. No, because I boost, I boost right in after him here. Mm -hmm. It's I like assume it, was, it looks like it was probably hard because he ends up on the other side. Yeah.
because I don't see I don't see your guys like crossbones anywhere. Okay, you die back here, behind him. All right, okay. So we we might have overcommitted to do the doom fist and left our backs exposed. So, Which is better than undercommitting to Doomfist and letting him kill everybody. Well, the, the other issue with that is when we're when we were firing that Doomfist, I noticed I, like, neither of our DPS there were firing him. It was mainly you and uh, Anchor that me, was shooting at him. Me and Anchor, yeah. Yeah. Shiro's and, and, there. Yeah. But I think he's trying to take down shields. Yeah, Shiro's there. That's fine. Doom did have the beat on him. That's why we couldn't kill him the first time he got in. Mm-hmm. But the biggest thing about Doom is, like, the longer he stays alive, the more passive shields he generates. So in a lot of the times, especially in this comp here, if you look, like, the this, this scuffed comp that they're kind of running oh, here, this, this Doom... Is, this is the meta, just with Genji instead of Reaper. Yeah. Little little odd. Uh, Arc goes with the McCree here, as a counter to both the dive DPS, which is smart. Uh, but this Doom, every time he jumps in from here on out, should be instantly dead. Between pull, stun, stun. Rock. Yeah, like we have two stuns and like some CC. Or Shiro can just shoot him in the face. Mm -hmm. So like we, Arisa overcommits here. Like really badly. We get the punish. And then we just chase him back to spawn. Yeah, and coming up is the the mistake that we kind of went over a little bit, but we're going to talk about here. Go ahead and do it on him now. He is. Yeah. That, uh, there we go. Yeah, I just had it low, so it wasn't like over. But yeah, like like I can hear it. So like, but anyway, the call here is pull dragons, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this. Yeah, and. I <laughs> Are you sure now? So, Shiro doesn't do it here. Yes, mm -hmm. He does it afterwards. All we had to do and we miss, miss it entirely. So, Shiro, you got confused about what Coach was telling us about letting them get on the cart. Uh, pull dragons in this location is just as efficient as them on the cart. What Coach was talking about was flux when they're on the payload, because we had a really bad flux on Temple of Anubis. Where we did it in like, this enclosed space, and it actually didn't do anything. So, uh... This was the... I don't know if... Anchor tabs during any of this. We can see what we're working with. Top right. Yeah, yeah. Pull back. Oh, missed it. Don't you top right? Yeah, yeah. Hold. Okay, so yeah. Dragons is the only thing we're currently working with in this fight. We can't get Supercharger. We can get, like, Square. We can get a Valk. Valk. But we've won previous fights with just a dragon. Pull back a little bit. Pull back a little bit. Hold Dragons this fight. Go ahead and do it on him now. Yes. Oh. So yeah, when when our primary shot caller makes that shot call, we you, you follow it even if it's bad. Because yeah, it doesn't matter if they die around that corner or die on the cart. Behind, behind, <laughs> Genji fires up his blade here, and I absolutely dominate him. Nice and then I pop Valk in response to blade, yeah. and it just happens to last into so this fight. This fight gets really scuffed, but we, we still win it. We, but we have to invest. All right, Shiro. We honestly extra. probably didn't need that supercharger. He he kind of panicked. I think he did it. Yeah, it's, he, I mean, he saw that we were because like we lose we lose heart, and I think we lose arc. Behind, behind, behind. Because yeah, Genji gets killed. Yeah, we lose immortality field. This flux goes up. Yeah, we lose heart. Art gets cut down really low. One. So that's where he pops Supercharger just to clean things out. Mm -hmm. Like, the Supercharger is probably All right, overly ambitious. Yeah. Like, that, that's pretty overly ambitious, this, this Supercharger. But we've out for the Flux. 
but we could have won this entire fight with pulled dragons and went into basically their last real fight with four alts online. Mm-hmm. Just followed it. It's turned out to be bad. So we just gotta follow those calls when they get made. Yeah, because now we're going to this next fight with only high noon. Yeah, we can go into this last one with flux and high noon. Yeah. And that's easy. That was for flux. Pulling together. Doom, 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 doom. Nice. Let's see it. We might want to pop it. Opening pick on the doom. Fortify after fortify. Oh, okay. We wait out fortify. Sigma half. Sigma six. Inval goes down. We push this and clean this up real easy. Then they have another fight. Oh, map main, map main, map main. So going in the last. We have, we have dragons, dragon. we have square, we have Valk. We have the, the three alts that we lost, basically. To like clean up that dragons scuffed fight. Mm -hmm. they have symmetrical yeah, they go Sim Reaper, which we call out right here. It doesn't end up so being in fact, like reaper, impactful at all. Yeah, yeah. Old Dragon is free condition. Weapon come up a little. Back up, I guess. Go ahead, yeah. Oh, their shield fucked See, up for me. They immortality, no. Like, no. immortality goes down here and saves them from it. Do it but now they don't have it. Revive, 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 revive. Okay, go ahead. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So, yeah, they don't have invulnerability when we pop square here. Break shield, break shield. Where's that? Nice. And again, this is just a cleanup fight from here. Yep, Arisa, 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 no more, no more. Reaper, 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 Reaper gonna die, Reaper gonna die. Yeah, this is all clean up from here on out. Like, we win this point fairly handy. Mm -hmm. um, our Gibraltar offense is actually pretty clean. Yeah, we finished with 316. As you can see by our time bank. Yeah. But the big takeaways for our defense were, uh, we only lost fights where we had to, in where uh, the enemy team had to overinvest their alts, or we made like a callout error, like me going on that McCreean server by myself. Where in reality, we could have just sent our DPS to deal with them if he was flanking like that. But uh, it's all about the positioning when we're playing. Without Sigma, uh, we got to take more passive positioning. We can't be overly aggressive. Because that's how, like, first point we lose Shiro there, because he's in a very aggressive spot, which would have been a good spot if he had a barrier in front of him. And then we lose second point because they come at us and pop four alts. Like, that's a go next. And then we have to invest two extra alts into a fight because a call-out wasn't made. All right. Anything about Gibraltar here? No, Any? that was... You're right. That was a fairly clean defense, except yeah, for... Yeah, it was pretty clean. One or two bad calls. Yeah. Uh, anything that wants to be discussed, talked about, reviewed? Shiro, Hart? Mm. Better. Okay. Then we're going to go to Hanamura. Because Hanamura is fucked. Oh, God. Hanamura is really bad. So, this is what we're running here. I convince Anchor to not play Orisa here, to play Ryan, because it is the correct thing to do. Play yeah, we, we switch here. Like heart heart speed boost us speed boost us out, which isn't really necessary here, honestly. Like it doesn't save us any time. Uh, Anchor gets a little ambitious because he just says, "Are you ready?" But he's already shielding at the choke. So before the teleporter goes up, he's got less than half a shield, and he gives Arc shit for not being fast enough. Where Arc wasn't ready for it, he was behind him. So we, we're going into this with half of a Rhine shield already, and it's it is on anchor. It's not on arc. So we come in. 
behind, they're behind, they're behind. We lose the shield very quickly. This is a good wall, by the way. Mm-hmm. This wall wins us the point. We kill Sim, which... Symmetra is the um, win condition of the enemy comp. <laughs> there you go, as you can see, impression. yeah, as you can see, uh, yep. who is playing Sim here? So it's oh, Arc, yeah. Arc on Sim. So we just we walk through, clean up the enemy team because our Symmetra is still alive. We're swinging through shields. Their Pharaoh doesn't do shit here, right? No, at all. Offense clean. Like, first point is clean. We're going in with almost a shatter. We have coalescence. We have square. Everything that happens after this is dog shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> Everything that oh, happens. I remember this. So, we walk in, we teleport in, and I say, I'm going to square once we get in, and I put square down and immediately die. Yeah. Okay, so we're already here. I immediately die to fire rockets. See, this is, this is better shielding. We're going into it with a full shield. Square goes up, but King is already dead. Yeah, like the second I clicked the button to put it down, I died. Which is why I didn't even get to like rotate or anything. Yeah, so like, it's 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 odd. It's if because this, yeah, the second we teleport through, they're shooting happens. directly into the teleporter. Yeah, exactly. So. The main main is probably on the proper yeah. path in here. I think I think our pathing is fine. I think what happens here is anchor should be the first one through, but I think he's like the fourth one through, right? So by the time that he actually gets his shield up, King is dead. So we need to follow behind him, but I think we were all just spamming F as soon as that we got to that teleporter. So we have the square up. The f- it's we yeah we pop coal. This fight is still technically winnable because we have more alts, but then we have barrage, barrage, which we got coalescence, we got barrage. Yeah. Um, so we use the two alts that we had, and like you said, they use coalescence, they use barrage. Oh yeah. Okay was... yeah. So, okay, so they just barrage. They get us. Unlucky. We're, uh... <laughs> enemy team doesn't have a res for no reason. So we make the call to go top right. Now they're playing mate. We get to do top right. And this is a... Okay, TP is top left. TP is top left. Take that position right. So he's calling for a TP top left right here to force them down, to force this pharmacy out into the open where we can actually do something with them. Mm-hmm. Ark is up here and has just put his teleporter down. <laughs> <laughs> so There's more miscommunication. Yeah, there was a miscommunication. We and lose our destroyed. teleporter. Just instant. So we have no teleporter. I, I hit the pharaoh with the rock. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Which shouldn't necessarily lead to a kill, but it's just kind of funny. Oh, wait. Don't tell me. They have Simwall down here. Does he go for Shatter? This is peak Overwatch performance. (laughs) So, the issue right here that I'm looking at is I can't tell who's super far back there. That might be me. And if that is me, then it's alright. But Anchor is com- Anchor and Arc are completely split right now. And because of how far in Anchor is, it's going to be impossible to retrieve him. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, like, like King just said, we're all, we're all grouped up here. All of us are in the same mortality field. There's a Mercy Pocket on this Orisa. Symmetra is doing absolutely nothing. We could still theoretically melt the Orisa. We could theoretically melt the Orisa through... Just by getting on her, because... We have like May, we have Sim, we can just go yeah. at her. But Anchor pinned in because he saw a wall pop up behind Arissa. Oh, no, that he's mid shatter. He he goes for a shatter. <laughs> he's mid shatter. He goes for shatter when there's nothing but barriers in front of him. <laughs> he hits oh, the Arissa. Yeah. But what do you think? Sim, Sim melts him. Look at the kill feed and tell me what you think's about to happen. 
Mm. Not another barrage, surely. Wait, is this the fight where they got our wall goes up? Yeah, they got another. This is the fight where they get into the barrage. Shiro and Ark didn't communicate either of these ults, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Anchor doesn't necessarily have to communicate Shatter. He just sees an opening and takes it. But Blizzard has to be communicated, and to a certain extent, Wall has to be communicated. To no, yeah. Because we invest two ultimates into a fight. <laughs> yeah, Anchor gets a pin on Farah. <laughs> we invest two ultimates into a fight that's not winnable. But we look at the enemy comp here, right? Mm -hmm. What is the win condition of the enemy comp? As as Anchor would say, any comp with the pharmacy is the win condition of pharmacy. Any comp with a pharmacy, a pharmacy is the win condition, and we are doing absolutely nothing to stop her right now. Yeah. That is two fights in a row that we have lost to a barrage, which just tells you how hard we've been feeding. We need to be making a swap here to some kind of hit scan, most likely. We yeah, we need a we need a comp change here. We have three else coming up. Let me, guess I don't, take I, this point. let me guess we don't call it for it, though. Haha, <laughs> stay tuned for the time we don't call for it. Uh, so we just invested Shatter, Wall, Blizzard to compare against their their wall and their barrage. Mm -hmm. Which is a bad way to swing that alt economy. We go Arissa here, though. Mm -hmm. It's probably the better choice. Um, yeah. And I suggest going far left only because it's a different pathing. Oh, we do we call go, for it. We go, we go Kree Hanzo. Anchor says no, don't go far left because um, he's, we open up to the far, which is true. And almost happens. And almost happens. But when we do end up going far left, I think eventually is when we get the most ground. It's because they're Farrah Feeds. Yeah. Okay. Again, not not trying to be shitty here, but what's the WidCon of the enemy comp? And who are we completely ignoring right now? So far as on the left, just spamming in. Everyone else is in front, just spamming in. This is not a position that we should be pushing from from here on out. Far even goes top left. Yeah. So the, the team mistake that happens here... Oh, Night Killer. Nice. Yeah, you get the far up, but we don't just throw ourselves off the map here. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a mistake that I realized, like, me and Anchor are doing. Because so Anchor like, like, Anchor's like, we can get out. and I. Yeah. Uh, so pretty much, we lost Ark early. We backed out. We lost Shiro immediately after. We're down both DPS. We either need to get out immediately or yeet ourselves off the map. And in this situation, should have yeeted ourselves off the map. Mm -hmm. Me and Hart die soon after, like we're supposed to. But you and Anchor take this position and turtle up for like for like <laughs> twelve seconds that we lose. Plus, that Symmetra definitely has wall again. Mm -hmm. So we make the call to go main. King makes the call to go left again. I'm like, please. Just try it. Because <laughs> I'm seeing that top right definitely won't work. And in my head, main isn't doing well either because we teleport straight into the far so, so like Anch Yeah, Anchor says go main, but goes top right. <laughs> so we're following our main tank. He's just inting right now. Hmm. Um, yeah, Shiro doesn't have a bad idea here. Taking like, an angle on yeah, the side ground. Better. Invol like they're involved um, they square. We should be shooting this teleporter. But then this goes up. And then we try and rotate. Yeah, and there's Barrage. For the fourth fight in a row, if people are keeping track, Farah kills all of us. <laughs> and then Hart very sadly coalescing throws himself off the map. <laughs> <laughs> So this is this is four consecutive minutes of us trying to go top right and dying.
<laughs> Anchor goes, we go again. <laughs> and then he goes, we can shoot their teleporter from here. Yeah. Um, so look how much time he's spending shooting this teleporter. <laughs> and then we, we still lose, so, I'm assuming. A problem that we've consistently had in the past, but it won't be a problem going forward, is nobody ever calls Anchor on his shit. Fair. Nobody would ever go, Anchor, you're retarded, we're going left, and you better come with us. Yeah, would, like, I, the closest we, just, we get... <laughs> we would blindly follow whatever call he made. The, the closest we would get is me going, hey, let's go left side. Because he would definitely call a pause and argue with us. Oh, absolutely. So we go top right again. Pharmacy in the exact same spot they've been the last three fights. I think uh, maybe what we should have done is split the, not split the team, but sent someone on a flank maybe to deal with Pharmacy. Or at we least distract of, them. We have a lot of options here. But we take none so, of them. Stim wall goes up. We're calling for a retreat. Yeah, because there's no point in fighting this. We can no. just wait it out. Nothing short, and nothing short of a dead eye. Yeah. Nothing short of a dead eye with everyone standing behind it will break this wall. We're calling for a full retreat. It takes a long time for people to retreat. We lose Ark because of the... And they push us. I believe we get a pick here. But then we lose it. <laughs> Sim just pops up, straight Assassin's Creed style, with his teleporter. Kills it. bombed. So the issue here is blind faith and pathing. Yeah, because we've been holding on to both of these alts for almost three minutes now. Yeah. Because we haven't had an opportunity to pop them because of our pathing. Because if I pop square in that hallway, they just back up. Yeah, they just leave. Yeah. And if you pop Sigma ult, then how are we going to reach it? And an anchor finally says, okay, let's go left yeah. side. Okay, let's do it. His primary concern is that we're going to get booped off the map. No, it's that far will get a good angle for barrage above that staircase. Yeah. Which is a fair... You hear you the know, concussion worry. You hear the concussion blast there, and look how close I am to going off the map. <laughs> Just Sigma ult and get back on. I could have. I would have. We, we get the pharmacy. Because I say... Uh, or because... because because we do this pathing. Yes. Now the only thing left to threaten us on the enemy team I is that right. Symmetra. Anchor was wrong. You pop square behind Anchor. We have flux. Yeah, we pop a, little bit, a little bit too far back. <laughs> so, like, Arc Arc loses a duel against Symmetra here. Somehow. And I'm about to lose. Uh, I'm about to lose my life to her too. We lose King. Yeah. We get her beam just on me. Pharmacy gets back. Shiro gets her. Immortality just up though. Also, I want to talk about how little Anchor's contributing for like ten straight seconds here. Because we know. The teleporter goes to the high ground, and look how much time he spends just shooting at it. <laughs> he does this for a little bit on our defense, too. Okay, so we saw that Mercy down there, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody calls out that she's literally one health down there. We just look at her and go, yeah, she's down there now. Shiro gets her. Yeah, King calls it out like five seconds after she goes down there. Shiro gets her. We lose Tanker. We lose Heart. We lose. <laughs> Barrage. Somewhere in that range. <laughs> and then Arc. Yeah, I could have played Ash. <laughs> but Hind hindsight's twenty twenty. I should have... Oh, we should have taken that left path in for the inner. Yes. I'm now, as soon as that... Face. If you go back to the start of this fight... The pharmacy's dead. The only thing left is Symmetra. Mm-hmm. Symmetra should be priority number one to kill here. Because we leave her unattended. And she kills two. 
And she kills two. <laughs> she kills... She kills... She kills Ark. And then she kills the immortality field before she feels like she has to bother with you. Yeah. It's because I'm That's... standing right below the immortality field, charging my boots, hoping that a jump will save me. That's how little she's being pressured right now. And she's like, yeah, I'm just going to kill this immortality field. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Don't let us go Shira gets the Pharah, which is good. He gets the Mercy 2 here. Wall goes up. He manages to get the Mercy. Pharmacy offline. Symmetra, priority target. So we push, yeah, we push Sigma into that corner. Too late. For those of you keeping track at home, Symmetra kills four. Uh, Farrah kills three. Which means... Oh. So I, got back Lu- yeah, I got back as Lucio. <laughs> he got back. He <laughs> gets back. I'm fucking he, he dies ass. to both the DPS. He dies, <laughs> he dies to two separate DPS in the same I'm fight. Sure, I think you underestimate how fucking fast I am. <laughs> what the fuck? So their tanks aren't doing anything but being a point presence. Yeah, and their DPS roll us. Their DPS roll us. As soon as that pharmacy goes down, we have to ignore the tank line and kill Symmetra. And her 195 DPS per second. Like, yeah, they were nerfing it. They are reducing it. Still. She does 40% more damage than the max charge Zarya. Yeah. An- Anchor doesn't like my defense strat here, even though it's 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 big brain. <laughs> this is something that you do a lot still, Shiro, because I don't know what you do in between rounds. That's Ark. I'm, I'm, I know this oh. is Ark. I'm oh. talking about you because you're, about you're still back yeah. here. Yeah. Is that I don't know if you try and sneak a quick round of Osu in between lives or something. No. But you're always the last person to pick and the last person to spawn. Our positioning for the defense here is based solely on what the enemy team is running. So we need you up here playing Hanzo to get a Sonic on the front door, right? But he doesn't get here. Because we don't know what's going on. We don't know what they're doing, and we set up as if they're going to come in pretty traditionally, right? They have pharmacy. Yeah, and they just teleport in, don't they? And then... Yep. Teleporter. And then this happens. And, and then we open we up our backs to pharmacy. So we rotate around. We actually do get the mercy. Because Shiro's playing on the top high ground with the shield. But dies to the Pharaoh. <laughs> this wall completely cuts off anything that we would be able to do. And the only reason this wall should go up is if we were trying to focus down the Pharaoh. But that Which, wasn't a call. No, Nobody makes that call, though. Yeah. Because, like, that wall could have bought us enough time to kill her and then go in. I mean, to be fair, her mercy was already down. We mercy was wall. already down. We could have done it. Symmetric kills everybody. Yeah, the combination of that wall and anchor rotating all the way to the right side just let them have point presence, and we were forced to try and take it back. Where if we stuck as a unit, walled them off, killed the Pharah, we could have moved in 5v4. Oh, yeah, and then... Oh, nice wall, nice wall. This wall so, is a, this this wall, is a good wall. This, like, lets us win the fight. Yeah. There is a series of good walls that come up here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Pulling a wrist If she <laughs> survives... She survives? Yeah, somehow. I don't know how. And now we, we're coming up on, like, five ults here. The only the only thing I can think of that that's, this Arisa actually gets out, like, we kill her. But the only thing I can think of for her to get out oh, nice is our DPS are bad. Yeah. Oh, their Baptiste is also behind Pogner, right? Or I don't no? think he can make a lot. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, yeah. No, they can see her through that. Just okay, barely. They can, they can see her, but like, she still shouldn't survive. Like all five of us focusing her down. Yeah. Aim for the heads, dudes. I'm not. I'm not involved in that. Also, I was trying to I'm kill Symmetra. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just a beam. I'm not involved. Now, we have everything but Blizzard here. Mm-hmm. And even then, we could get Blizzard. We could hypothetically get Blizzard. I take a bet that we use at least four alts here. For no reason. So I'm guessing we try and go for pull dragon. We don't make a call about what we're gonna do. Which is not what we, we should definitely have made a call. I got a point. Right. So they get the wall up. We had the flux up. Mm -hmm. They throw down mortality, I believe. Yes, they do. Who are we ignoring again? Pharmacy. Because I die with Valkyrie, I believe. So they invest a supercharger. We invest a supercharger and a dragon. But they have mortality up, don't they? No, they don't. Never mind. No, no. It's big. It saves us. Yeah. Again, the supercharger wasn't necessarily something that we needed, but, it's but it, it was it was correct in the moment to slam it down because we didn't we can't count on Shiro getting a three k out of nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. So this fight we have both portals and may come out. This is a call out that loses us this point. Oh yeah, anchor calls anchor. for the blizzard. Yeah. Arc oh, yeah. Arc but Ark didn't say anything. Too. That's fair. Ark needs to say something. He doesn't say that yeah. he doesn't have it. But Anchor should also... Anchor held tab for a solid three seconds. He should have known. He should have known. And he checks it again. I, mean, so, I, think, he is, I think he just assumed, oh, it's 3% and he'll get it. Yeah. So, what we could have done here, if we were relying exclusively on the Blizzard... Is pushed up a little bit to try and get like that little poke damage. Ark has to hit one body shot to get his ult. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have an opening to do it. We all start calling for it. Where is it? Where is it? You Mercy's know. down. And yeah, we're calling for it, calling for it, calling for it. He doesn't have it yet. He, he just gets it. It comes down. I was just but, about to say. But Barrage. Didn't pause it in time. Who is not currently here? Pharmacy. Shiro kills the, the Mercy. Mercy mm -hmm. would have had to have been on her Pharaoh, right? Mm -hmm. You'll never guess what happens next. I'm dead. And I pop Valkyrie here is just to try and heal us long enough. The Barrage... Yeah, the barrage kills somebody, destroys our barriers. Their tanks kill everybody, and you can't recontest when they already have turrets and shit. Yeah, and they have turrets and double shield, and we can't. You don't push back into that. Yes, you do. <laughs> and this is anchor saying you had a you had a. <laughs> That's why this I... cuts short. <laughs> it cuts <laughs> right here he because he goes. It. He goes. I'm checking my vod right now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess Ark thought that he was going to get a uh, blizzard, yeah, I mean, it, but it's a fair he also assumption. didn't say anything. It's three percent, but at the same time, that three percent ends up mattering. We should have went up yeah. and poked for it. Like you could have, as like when we were in the regroup phase when they were coming out of their spawn, Ark at ninety-two percent. We should have pushed forward just a tad, and he could have just tried to get a little bit of chip damage in, so it was guaranteed to have it before we showed up. But everyone just assumed it's 3%. Ark's not bad. He can get 3%. <laughs> but it came out late. I think we also was... didn't expect him to push in that fast. No, we knew. They were going to teleport straight to point. We talk about it. Mm. But it was about callout because Anchor usually makes two callouts, which are, um, okay, pocket the maze, so May gets its ult, his ult, and we fucking use Blizzard, right? Yeah, because or... we... We use Blizzard just right when we get into the fight. But we didn't have the ult. 
So he yeah. made the second call when he should have made the first. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why all of us uh, committed mistakes by, I don't know, going to the point expecting it's it's to Blizzard. Yeah, we played around Blizzard, a Blizzard that we didn't Yeah, because we predicted exactly, almost almost to the to the exact spot where that teleporter will go down. Like, yeah, Anchor flicks to it. Exactly where it's going to go down. He drops because we're expecting it. Yeah. We're expecting to just be able to instantly move in yeah. on it. And it comes in late. So this this would be big. If not for the fact that Far comes in. Arisa just kind of fortifies out of it and gets a shield down. And Sigma kills everybody. Oh, we still had an alt there. What did we not pop? We popped Valkyrie. We popped. Did we not pop Squirt? Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's 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 fair. That's more than fair. Because Hart didn't expect us to get <clears throat> deleted. <coughs> so that's fair enough. No, because she doesn't take the teleporter with the rest of the team. Well, yeah, it's because we get so fixated on the. We email. tunnel vision. We tunnel vision on the TP. Because we that's where we expect on... a bunch of free kills to come in. Exactly. We expect six people to be frozen there in a couple of seconds, right? Because mm -hmm. we, f we forget with our big brains that there's two people that aren't playing with their team. So the takeaway from here is if something's not working, we need to, we need to switch because we slammed our head against the wall for the entirety of our offense, and the one time that we actually got a real fight was right at the end when we switched something up. And I don't... Whoever sees her, we need to keep tabs on exactly where Farah is at all times. And as soon as that, far, that Farah is dead, and we can deny the res, Symmetra is the next target. Because this bitch does way too much damage right now. And the, the range on her beam is completely ludicrous. So she can do it from the safety of barriers. Alright. Questions? Comments? Concerns? It's just... I feel like that scrim... Any... Not any, but most of the time we lost the fight, it was due to some form of bad call or not following calls. Or just bad pathing. Uh, a lot of fights were lost because one of their DPS decided to go somewhere weird and then kill everybody. Very easily punishable things. Yeah, need to keep tabs on things like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we never we never took care of the Farah. We were like, okay, just got a point and we didn't care if Farah was there, there, there were a couple wasn't of times, there. There was a couple of times that you killed her. And in those in those instances, again, immediate target focus has to go on the sim. Because if that sim's dead, what the fuck is Arissa gonna do? Like Yeah. What what's she what's she gonna do? Be mad. We also need to counter better, because like yeah. I think we spent a lot dive, of time not counterpicking. Yeah, because in a, on attack, I think that will have gone best. Second point, where we can actually stage one properly. First point, dive's pretty rough because of that first choke. Which is why when we play Hanamura in the future, I have ideas. Of some some scuffed point A comps that can transition into a second point dive, but we can go over that later. So I have to go kind of kind of soon. So something I think we need to talk about is what we're going to do with GGNA and main tank. Yeah. So uh, we can we can cut the vod there. Like we can cut the recording.